भगवते वासुदेवाय ओ नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय ओ नमो भगवते वासुदेवाय सो टुडे वी आर रीडिंग द लास्ट वर्ड्स ऑफ फिफ्टीन चैप्टर राइट फिफ्टीन ट्वेंटी यस गुह्यतम शास्त्र इदम उक्त मया नुद्वा बुद्धिम सृतकृत्य भारत दस गुह्यतम द मोस्ट कॉन्फिडेंशियल शास्त्रम रिवील्ड स्क्रिप्चर इदम दिस उक्तम डिस्क्लोज मया बाय मी अनघ ओ सिलनेस वन एक दिस बुद्धवा अंडरस्टैंडिंग बुद्धिमान इंटेलिजेंट सैत वन बिकम्स कृतकृत्य the most perfect in his endeavors cha and bharata o son of bharata translation and purport by shri prabhupad shri prabhupad ki jai this is the most confidential part of the vedic scriptures o sinless one and it is disclosed now by me whoever understands this will become wise and his endeavors will know perfection perfect the lord clearly explains here that this is the substance of all revealed scriptures and one should understand this as it is given by the supreme personality of godhead thus one will become intelligent and perfect in transcendental knowledge in other words by understanding this philosophy of the supreme personality of godhead and engaging in his transcendental service everyone can become freed from all contaminations of the modes of material nature devotional service is a process of spiritual understanding wherever devotional service exists the material contamination cannot coexist devotional service to the lord and the lord himself are one and the same because they are spiritual devotion service takes place within the internal energy of the supreme lord the lord is said to be the sun and ignorance is called darkness where the sun is present there is no question of darkness therefore whenever devotion service is present under the guidance of a bona fide spiritual master there is no question of ignorance everyone must take to this consciousness of krishna and engage in devotional service to become intelligent and purified unless one comes to this position of understanding krishna and engages in devotional service however intelligent he may be in the estimation of some common man he is not perfectly intelligent the word anagha by which arjuna is addressed is significant anagha o sinless one means that unless one is free from all sinful reactions it is very difficult to understand krishna one has to become free from all contamination all sinful activities then he can understand but devotional service is so pure and potent that once one is engaged in devotional service he automatically comes to the stage of sinlessness while one is performing devotional service in the association of pure devotees in full krishna consciousness there are certain things which require to be vanquished all together the most important thing one has to surmount is weakness of the heart the first fall down is caused by the desire to lord it over material nature thus one gives up the transcendental loving service of the supreme lord the second weakness of the heart is that one increases the propensity 
to lord it over material nature he becomes attached to matter and the possessions of matter the problems of material existence are due to these weaknesses of the heart in this chapter the first five verses describe the process of freeing oneself from these weaknesses of heart and the rest of the chapter from the sixth verse through the end discusses purushottama yoga thus end the bhakti vedanta purports of the 15th chapter of shrimad bhagavad gita in the matter of purushottam yoga the yoga of the supreme person om gyan timirandhasya gyananjan shalakaya chakshur militam yena tasmay shri gurave namaha shri chaitanya manobhishtam sthapitam yena bhutale स्वयं रूप कदा मह्यम ददाति स्वपदातिक वंदेहम श्रीगुरुश्रीयुत पदकमल श्रीगुरुन्वैष्णवांश श्रीरूप सागर जात सहगन रघुनाथन्वित तम सजीव साइत सवधूत परिजन सहित कृष्ण चैतन्यदेव श्रीराधा कृष्ण पादान सहगन ललिता श्री विशाखान्वितांश हे कृष्ण करुणा सिंधु दीनबंधु जगतपते गोपेश गोपिका कांत राधा कांत नमस्ते तप्त कांचन गौरांगी राधे वृंदावनेश्वरी वृषभानुसुते देवी प्रणमा हरि प्रिय वाछकलपतरुभ कृपा सिंधु वेवच पतिता पावनेभ्यो वैष्णवेभ्यो नमो नम नमो विष्णुपदाय कृष्ण पृष्ठा भूतले श्रीमते भक्ति वेदात स्वामी नितिनामिने नमस्ते सरस्वतीदेव गौरवाणी प्रसारिणे निर्विशेष शून्यवादी पाश्चत देशिणे जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु निनंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधार शिवासदी गौरभक्तवृंद हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा कृष्ण कृष्णा हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे 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 कृष्णा सो वी आर रीडिंग द लास्ट वर्ड्स ऑफ द फिफ्टीन चैप्टर ऑफ भगवद गीता Every chapter of Bhagavad Gita is very important. Krishna says in seventh chapter that I am giving you the, the supreme knowledge. Ninth chapter he says Raj Vidya Raj Guhyam that I am giving you the highest secret. In tenth chapter he tells I am telling you further, you know, more secret about me. So every chapter is actually so important, and fifteenth chapter is also one of the very special chapters. It's called Purushottam Yoga. You know, in the month of Purushottam, Adhik Mas, which comes once in every three years, we chant this verse, this entire chapter. They said that in that month we must chant 15 chapter, and a very sweet chapter, very beautiful verses, and uh, many people they by heart the entire chapter, Purushottam Yoga, very beautiful chapter, because it establishes that how Krishna is Purushottam, He is the supreme among all persons. Purushottam Yoga, and it tells how to reach Purushottam, how to go to the Lord. So this verse talks about how to go to the abode of the Lord. So it starts in the beginning, describing what this material world is. So what did he say? Urdhva mula madha shakam ashvatham praurabhyam chandam siyasya pannani yastam vedasa vedavit. So this this material world is a reflection of the spiritual world. Just like in the water, we see we have a tree, and we see reflection of that on the water. It's upside down, right? So when you look at the reflection, the branches will look as if it's going in upward direction, and sorry, in the downward direction, the root in the upward direction. A reflection you see opposite. So this material world is an inverted image. You know, in in physics we talk about straight image and inverted image. So this world is an inverted image of the spiritual world. so first four five verses talks about that how 
this world has no end this is endless you know and what are we trying to do here we are trying to enjoy our senses this the the, the leaves are there and the twigs are there they are the objects of the senses and the living entity what is trying to do trying to enjoy the senses so but what krishna says ultimately in fourth chapter but we must cut down the strongly rooted tree with the weapon of renunciation detachment is the right word asanga shastrena asanga shastrena dridham dridhena chitva that we need a weapon to cut the tree right we can't cut a tree with hand we need an axe so krishna is saying this tree of material world which is so complicated so big no beginning no end but this huge material tree can also be cut by one weapon and that weapon is detachment asanga shastrena dridhena chitva and then we should surrender to that supreme personality of godhead and go to his world so it's not that if we cut this material world where will we go like the buddhists they say finish this material world we don't want to live here but then where do i go i enter into void i am i become void that is called voidism shunyavad and mayavad is what they say okay detached from this material world but after liberation what you become you merge into brahman you also become brahman but no that is not told here said so you cut off this material world but after that where you should go to the spiritual world and what is the qualification nirman moha jit sang dosha adhyatma nitya vinivritya kama dvande vimukta sukha dukha samne gachantya mudha padam advayam tat nirman moha you are freed from all sense of false prestige nirman nirmoha free from illusion jita sang dosha free from all contamination of the senses adhyatma nitya we should be fixed in spiritual knowledge vinivritta kama giving up all desires to enjoy in this world dvande vimukta dvanda means duality happiness distress success failure summer winter these are called dualities in this material world always there will be duality happiness distress heat cold honor dishonor success failure life death so always there will be dwanda so we have to be freed from the dwanda gachanti mudha padam natam so such a person he can actually go to the supreme abode this is surrendering process that means surrender begins the moment we give up our pride that means the moment we have pride we cannot surrender to surrender we have to become humble to become humble you have to give up pride and this pride is because of illusion because actually we are so small you know once um, tamal krishna maharaj he was a big leader in iskon so once he told shila prabhupad prabhupad how to get rid of this pride sometimes no pride comes i am managing the society i am doing so, so many services then shila prabhupad said look this entire material world is just one fourth of lord's creation spiritual world is three fourth in this material world there are so many universes we you know from mahavishnu's body so many universes come out our universe is just one of them in this big universe earth is one planet within this earth there is a country called america within that country there is a city called los angeles and within that city there is a small temple of iskon and the president of that temple is thinking that i am so great that means if we compare ourselves with the entire cosmos we will actually become very humble what am i so tiny so small so actually if we have knowledge we can never become proud therefore the sim- the symptom of knowledge is humility amanitvam adambitvam in 13th chapter krishna says process of knowledge is that begins with amanitvam humility vidya vinaya sampanne brahmane gavihastini sunicheva sopake cha pandita samadarshina vidya vinaya sampanne so vidya should give vinaya humility so 
that's why Krishna is saying the first qualification Nirmana, Nirmoha, Jita. Such a person where he goes to the spiritual world. And Krishna tells in one verse how the spiritual world looks like. Natat bhashate shuryo nasa shanka na pavaka yad gatvana nivartante tadhama paramamama. That in my spiritual world there is no need of light, there is no need of sun, there is no need of electricity. Why? Everyone is effulgent. This world is dark. If there is no sun, it will be all dark. But spiritual world is never dark. And once we go there, we will not come back. And then Krishna says, Okay, so who are we? Then he says, Mamai Vansha, Jeeva Loke, Jeeva Bhuta Sanatana, Manasasthani Indriyani, Prakriti Sthani Karshati. He says, Look, all of us, we are what? Krishna's part and parcel. But having forgotten Krishna, we have we are trying to enjoy this material world with the six senses, and therefore we are struggling hard. The exact word is karshati. That means Prabhupada says struggling hard. There's so much hard struggle in this world actually. In Vrindavan, sometimes you don't realize the world life is very peaceful. But if you see in the outside world, it's such a big struggle. Srila Prabhupada writes about life in Bombay, you know. People, they get up early in the morning, like we get up for Mangla Arati. There also people get up 4.30. And then they quickly take bath and then they rush to the railway station. They catch a local train. It's so jam-packed, like mosquitoes, you know, like packed in a box. And then many times in the, in the, while the train is going, people fall off the train and die. And then they reach their office by 8 o- uh, 8.39 and then 9 to 5, 6 they have to work again come back in the same local train and the same jam-packed crowd it takes again 2 hours that means he leaves the home early in the morning 5 o'clock, 6 o'clock and comes back in the home in the night 9 o'clock and then he just has some dinner and that also sometimes you know both husband and wife are working so then after the man comes back he has to also cook he will not also get dinner so he has to cook and then after that somehow he goes to sleep like a dead person and again morning he has to get up and go to work. So life is not easy in this material world. But why? What is the root cause? Because of forgotten Krishna. You know that poem that Srila Prabhupada wrote for his spiritual master, he says that forgotten Krishna we are astray, Maya stole we have to pay, something like that. So by forgetting Krishna we are paying heavy toll. No, we have toll tax, we are paying heavy toll tax to Maya. And then Krishna explains that how the living entity is carried from one body to another. Just like the air carries aroma from one place to another. And then we get another body, different kind of senses. And uh, in this way the, the transmigration of the soul keeps happening. And who can see this? Yatanto yogina shaina pashyanti atmina vasitam yatanto pya kritatmano nainam pashyatya chetasa. So, foolish people they cannot understand how this transmigration of soul is happening. Yad aditya gatam tejo jagat bhashe te kilam yad chandramasi yad chagno tat tejo vidhimamakam. He says, Oh, look at the sun. From where the sun is getting energy? From me. Yad aditya gatam tejo. The moon, the splendor of the moon is coming from me. This earth is rotating in its orbit because of me. Gam abhishtya bhuta dharya me aham ojasa. So Shla Prabhupada explains that how the earth is in the space, why it is not falling down? It's because Krishna is holding it. Scientists may give you explanation of gravitation theory, but till now they don't know what is the source of gravitation. They, they say the theory of gravitation. But what causes gravitation, that is still not clear. So actually Krishna is holding all the planets. And he is providing juice to all vegetables, you know moon. There is also another subject of research. That actually moon is very important. Like scientists they talk about sun. That for growth of the plant sunlight is important. Actually moonlight is also equally important. Prabhupada says the taste in the vegetables, it actually comes because of moonlight. You know, that's why in Ayurveda, when you have to take certain jadi booty, certain herbs, they see you have to take on the full moon night. 
So moonlight and plants, they have a very close connection. And then Krishna says, forget about sun. Our own body, we are eating everyday nice prasad. How is it getting digested? Krishna is saying, Aham Vaishvanaro Bhutva Praninam Deham Ashrita Prana Pana Samayukta Pachamya Nam Chaturvidam Outside I am there as a sun, I am giving you vegetables and everything and inside also I am there as Agni, Pachak Agni, I am digesting. That means every second of a life you are depending on Krishna. Krishna is telling Ruthal that Are way you cannot forget me, I am always there with you. And then Krishna says, Are not only in the stomach, I am there in your heart. Sarvasya Chaham, Ridhisanni Vishto, Mata Smitir Gyanam Pohanam Cha, Vedesha Sarve Rahameva Vedyo, Vedanta Krit Veda Videva Chaham. That I am there in everyone's heart, and because of me, we get remembrance. Then he says, I am the, the goal of the Vedas. And 16th verse Krishna says, finally says, O Arjuna, there are two classes of people, Kshara and Akshara. Kshara means one who falls down, Akshara means one who does not fall down. So the spiritual world, living it is our Akshara, they don't fall down. And then he says, but there is Kshara, Akshara, but beyond that is me, Purushottama. And finally says that whoever knows me as Purushottama, what he does? Sa sarva bhajati maam sarva bhavena bharata. He engages in devotion service to me. That's the 19th verse. And 20th verse Krishna is saying today's verse. Arjuna, I gave you this most confidential knowledge because you are freed from all sins. Maya nagha. And whoever will understand this will become wise. So since today is the last verse, I just... It is short, quick recap of all the 20 verses. And Prabhupada explains in this purport that uh, Krishna, uh, he says, Maya Krishna hoye Surya Sam, Maya Andhika, Jaha Krishna Taha Nahi Maya Radhika. He says, there is only two options we have. What two options? Either to send it to Krishna or send it to Maya. Either we are in Krishna's family or we are in Maya's family. There is no third choice. Only two choices. Light or darkness. Krishna or Maya. We have to choose. Anyway, we have to surrender. Prabhupada says, if you don't serve God, we will serve dog. We have got only two choices. Want to serve Krishna or want to serve Maya? And then Prabhupada says, intelligent person to take Shri Krishna consciousness. And even if one is not freed from sins, but the process of bhakti is so powerful that the moment one does bhakti, he will be freed from all sins. In Bhakti Samad Sindhu, he said, bhakti has six characteristics. Kleshagni, Subhadha, Moksha Laghutakrit, Sudurlabha, Krishna Akarshini, Sandrananda Visheshadmi. So this first two stages, Kleshagni Subhada, that is present even in Vedi Sadhana Bhakti. That means the moment we do Bhakti, immediately all our sinful reactions are gone, burnt in, burnt, you know, just like we may have huge, you know, hills of sinful activities. But if you have a hill of cotton, so how much fire we need to burn it? One spark is enough. So like that, we may have heaps of sinful activities, but by taking to Krishna consciousness, just one holy name, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, can burn that entire hill into ashes. It will not take much time. And then Srila Prabhupada says that when we perform bhakti in the association of pure devotees, Prabhupada tells two things in this purport. First, that we must practice bhakti under guidance of a spiritual master. We can't perform bhakti without any guidance. No one can say, I'll just read books and do bhakti. No. We need guidance of a living person. 
so he can actually tell whether i am following the books or not so we need a living guide a living teacher who can guide us and we have to have association of devotees and if we perform bhakti in the association of devotees what will happen is we have to give up our hriday dorbalyam it's called weakness of heart you know why we are not able to send it to krishna even after understanding so much because the heart is weak is not strong enough to give up maya and send it to krishna and what is that weakness of heart there are two weakness of heart one is we want to lord it over material nature means want to control you know, some people are control freak they want everything to be in their control if something goes here and there they become crazy so this desire to control things that is first weakness of heart and the second weakness of heart is to is thinking aham mamiti that i am this body and this is mine this house is mine this family is mine this is mine this is mine so this is another weakness of heart first is desire to lord it over nature second is the misconception of me and mine so we have to give up this weakness of heart the first five verses talks about how to give up the weakness of heart how by the weapon of detachment so when we hear the knowledge of bhagavad gita so what happens we get the weapon of detachment by that we can cut off the weakness of heart and Uh, from six verse till twenty eighth verse discusses Purushottam Yoga. That means how we can connect ourselves with Purushottam, with Krishna. So we see the sun, we should remember Krishna. When we eat food, we should remember who is digesting the food, Krishna. When we eat something nice vegetable fruit, we should think from where the taste is coming, from Krishna. when we remember something we, what we should say who gave us this memory power krishna so in this way we can remember krishna in all aspects of our life and that is called purushottam yoga connecting with krishna connecting with purushottam and we should all have that desire to go back to krishna's abode you know, just like people they hear about america or they hear about some place and they develop such a strong desire i have to go there so what is required for us to go back to home back to god it what is required only a strong desire but unfortunately we don't have that desire we should simply have that strong desire that lollium that yes i want to associate with krishna enough of this material world this is a dukhalaya masashvatam nothing is permanent here this is not my actual home so once we have this conviction that let me go to my real home let me serve krishna and then we can become firm in devotional service and two things is emphasized here that is performing bhakti under the guidance of a spiritual master prabhu says therefore whenever devotional service is present under the proper guidance of a bona bona fide spiritual master there is no question of ignorance and very important thing we'll end with this note that devotional service takes place within the internal energy of the supreme lord so who is internal energy of krishna shrimati radharani tomorrow is radha ashtami ladini shakti internal potency of krishna has two functions to give pleasure to krishna and to nourish the devotees so actually whatever devotional service they are performing it's because of the grace of shrimati radharani because she is the only devotee of the lord she is the ashraya she is the shelter of bhakti so whenever anybody is doing any bhakti it is actually coming from shrimati radharan so by her mercy can someone do bhakti propatilli says devotional service is within the internal energy of the lord and also says devotional service to the lord and lord himself are one and the same that means there is no difference between bhakti and krishna devotional service is also krishna just like we say radha and krishna are one 
राधा कृष्ण प्रण विकृतिर लादनी शक्तिर अस्मात एकात मना अभि देह भेदम गतौ तौ चैतनाख्यम तत्प्रकटम तद्वयम चैक्यम आप्तम राधा भाव द्युति सुवलितम नौमी कृष्ण स्वरूपम जस्ट लाइक राधा एंड कृष्ण आर वन सो भक्ति एंड कृष्ण इज ऑल्सो वन बिकॉज भक्ति इज श्रीमती राधारन शी इज द इंटरनल पोटेंसी ऑफ कृष्णा शी इज द प्लेजर पोटेंसी ऑफ कृष्णा शी इज द वन हू नरिशेस ऑल द डिवोटीज ऑफ कृष्णा सो भक्ति इज परफॉर्म ओनली अंडर द शेल्टर ऑफ श्रीमती राधा रानी देर फोर हर नेम इज राधा वर्ल्ड कम्स फ्रॉम आराधना दैट मीन्स शी इज द बेस्ट इन वर्शिपिंग कृष्णा नो इन श्रीमद भागवतम डायरेक्टली देर इज नो वर्स विद द नेम ऑफ राधा रानी वाई सुखदेव गोस्वामी is a parrot of radharani and if he would have chanted the name of radharani he would have gone into trance and he could not have completed speaking entire shrimad bhagavat therefore he didn't take the name of radharani but indirectly in one verse he mentions anaya radhita nunam bhagwan hari ishwara because in the rasa leela krishna he saying went with one gopi whose worship for krishna is the highest anaya radhita anunam so radha that word radha comes in shrimad bhagavatam in this particular verse 10 chapter 10 canto i think 29th uh, 28th chapter some verse number yeah so therefore we must understand that we can do bhakti only by the mercy of shrimati radha rani or by her representative so special master is actually representative of shrimati radha rani so radha rani's mercy comes down to us by the parampara system through shila prabhupad and his representatives so tomorrow is a very special day we can all beg for the mercy of shrimati radharani and her devotees karunam kurume karuna bharite sanak sanatan varnit charite radhe jay jay madhav daite so only by the mercy of shrimati radharani and her devotees we can actually perform devotional service on our own we cannot perform any devotion service but by the mercy of shrimati radha rani we can also perform devotional service and that is what krishna is saying in bhagavad gita again and again become my devotee render devotional service to me but how to become a devotee that we have to learn from shrimati radha rani and therefore krishna came in the mood of shrimati radha rani to teach us practically how to do bhakti in the form of chaitanya mahaprabhu so krishna spoke bhagavad gita but shila prabhupa says hardly anyone could understand how to do bhakti krishna is saying again and again do bhakti do bhakti do bhakti but nobody knew how to do bhakti therefore krishna again came in the form of chaitanya mahaprabhu accepting the mood of shrimati radha rani and taught everyone practically how to do bhakti that chaitanya mahaprabhu taught us so therefore you have to follow in the footsteps of the parampara and based on whatever chaitanya mahaprabhu has taught us we should perform devotional service you see many people in vrindavan they come and say radhe radhe that is good but bhakti has to be performed based on scriptures based on guru parampara shruti smriti purana adi pancha ratri vidhim vina ekante hare bhakti utpade eva kalpate so without following the scriptures without taking shelter of bona fide special master if you do bhakti that is simply utpad the utpad means disturbance so we should not become like sahajyas you know like people outside they say radhe radhe we also say radhe radhe sometimes normally we should say hare krishna but even if we say tomorrow let's say radhe radhe but we should understand who is shrimati radha rani is not a cheap thing Shrimati Radha Rani is the internal potency of Krishna, and we should not jump directly to the past times of Radha and Krishna, but rather we should first understand the basics, and first be freed from all material contamination. Are we impl- uh, have we come to that stage? Nirmana Moha, Jita Sangha Dosha. No, let's come to that stage. Nirmana Moha, Jita Sangha Dosha, Adhyatma Nitya Vinivritya Kama. Have we given up lust toge- all together? No, we still have lust. we still have pride in our heart so once we give up pride lust anger envy then we can actually understand the loving pastimes of radha and krishna 
विषय छाड़िया कवि सुदह विमान कवि आमी हेरीबो श्री वृंदावन नरोत्तम दास ठाकुर सेज दैट व्हेन आई विल बी फ्रीड फ्रॉम ऑल मटेरियल डिजायर्स देन आई कैन एक्चुअली सी वृंदावन वी मे बी इन वृंदावन फिजिकली बट एट लीस्ट आई कैन नॉट सी वृंदावन ओनली व्हेन आई एम फ्रीड फ्रॉम ऑल मटेरियल डिजायर्स देन आई कैन सी वृंदावन एंड हाउ कैन बी आई फ्रीड फ्रॉम ऑल मटेरियल डिजायर्स आर कबे निताय चांदे करुणा हुई वे संसार वासना मोर कबे तुच्छ हे सो वेन वी गेट द मर्सी ऑफ नित्यानंद प्रभु द मर्सी ऑफ फ्यूशल मास्टर देन आर डिजायर टू एंजॉय दिस वर्ल्ड विल गो अवे देन वी कैन एक्चुअली सी वृंदावन हरे कृष्ण एनी क्वेश्चन कमेंट्स Detached from what? Being detached from material world, huh. we have to become attached to Krishna. We have to become attached to devotees. So detached means detached from material world. Desireless means no desire to enjoy this material world. So devotees, we have positive desire. We have positive attachment. So Maya Vadis and Buddhists, they say become desireless, give up all attachments. In Bhakti, we say no. Change the attachments from negative to positive. That means so being attached to material world. Become attached to Krishna. Become attached to devotees of Krishna. Instead of having material desires, have spiritual desires. That when the day will come, that Nathan Das Thakur says, Radha Krishna Pran Mura Jogaloki Shor, Chamar Dhula Bokka Be Hari Mukha Chandra Gathya Malati Mala Devo Dohar Goli. This spiritual desire. Oh, when that day will come, I will make garlands for Radha and Krishna. When that day will come, when I will. No, apply do chamar to uh, Radha and Krishna. So that this is spiritual desire, positive desire. So we should have positive desires. When that day will come, I'll also, you know, run with Krishna and go to the forest to herd the cows. So these are called positive desires. So devotee should never become desireless. No, freed from material desires. His desire is to please Krishna. His desire is to distribute more books. His desire is I should preach more. So these are positive desires. These are good desires. Yeah. So that got a clarification. So Guru Maharaj, if we speak about Guru Maharaj, he tried to approach the Lord with a materialistic desire. He, I want to sit on the lap of my father. Yes. But he got complete blessings of the Lord. If at least we are making a baby step start, right? So if we are starting at least giving it a baby step. Yes, yes, yes. So we can't completely be free from it. Externally, we are still not talking about Brahma Chakya and Vyas. So we can't be completely detached from the materialistic desire. But still, we are craving to be with the Lord. Yes. So are we wrong? No. Bhagavatam says, Akama sarva kama va moksha kama udariti tibrena bhakti yogena yajate purusham param. Says, whether you have material desires, you don't have material desires, still worship Krishna. So that's the example of Dhruv Maharaj. Even though his material desires, but because he did devotion service, eventually the material desire went away. So that is the beauty of the process of bhakti. That even if we start this process of bhakti with material desires, as we keep on advancing in bhakti, day will come and material desires will go away. Like the Dhruv Maharaj. When Krishna came and said, ask me something, he didn't ask anything. He said, give me association of devotees. And so he felt embarrassed that, you know, I was, I was having the desire to get some kingdom, but now I have no desire. I only want your pure devotional service. I want association of devotees. So that stage will come. So therefore, you should not worry so much whether I am having desires or not now. So as we do this process of bhakti properly, that is very important. That if we do this process of vedi sadhan bhakti properly, chanting our rounds, hearing, 
and reading and doing some services. So gradually, even if we have material, most of us we have material desires, but that will all go away gradually. Yes. Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Ram, Hare Ram. Hare Ram, Hare Ram. 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 Hare When the, when the spiritual plane. Yes. Uh, only if we chant offenselessly. Therefore, offenses is very important. So, near aparadha naam lole by Krishna plane. So, if we commit offenses and chant, then the chanting will never take us back to home, back to God. No. Therefore, we have to be freed from all ten offenses. Bahu Janma Karyadi Shravan Kirtan Tabutana Pai Krishna Pade Premadhan. Therefore, Chaitanya Chattami says that even if you may chant for many lifetimes, but if you commit aparad, see, material, having material desires is no problem. That is not an aparad. But aparad means like blaspheming Vaishnavas, blaspheming Guru, not having faith on scriptures, or willfully doing sinful activity. So, these are aparads. So, we should not commit aparad. To you are if you are chanting without aparad, without. yes. But chanting is helping us to go back. Yes, definitely. And we should see Krishna in everyone. Everything, whatever is happening, we should see Krishna is in everything. Uh, not exactly. I said when we look at the sun, we see Krishna's energy. When we look at the moon, Krishna's energy. In that way, yeah. Krishna is in the heart of everyone. Yes, that also we see, yeah, Krishna is in the heart of everyone, yeah. So we see in the heart of everyone, but sometimes why we discriminate these things? See, even if we see Prabhupada says like a tiger, so we can't go and embrace a tiger, Krishna is in your heart, no. So when it comes to practical behavior, you have to make a distinction. So therefore, Nectar of Instruction says that whom to associate with, whom not to associate with. So those who are like new devotees or not falling so seriously but chanting Hare Krishna we offer them respect from a distance or those who are practicing sincerely then we associate with them so we have to make distinction but we should respect everyone we should not offend or we should not disrespect anyone but there are two things respecting and associating we associate with pure with proper devotees we should not associate with anyone so we, we should Yes. So please, this is a very nice point. Sometimes you get confused. We say, Prabhuji, I have to respect everyone means I go and associate with everyone. No. I respect everyone, do pranam to everyone, but associate only with sincere devotees. Hare Krishna. Srimad Bhagavad Gita ki jai.